supply chains being the lifeblood of so many business challenges uh, that need to be addressed is now self-evident, has been for a number of years. What has become increasingly clear though, is that being able to solve your demand and supply side problems concurrently is really at the heart of what needs to be done. And what I mean by that is the traditional operational silos that have defined strategic processes to be separate and different from more of the operational or tactical processes versus even demand and supply being thought of as two different functions, let alone the entire company being able to come together. And by that, I mean the supply planning, the finance, the marketing, the operations teams all working together to access the same information at the right level of granularity was an impossibility. What today's capabilities and technologies can do is solve that very real world marking, mark, market need. And Leander has taken a huge step forward in solving that concurrent demand and supply, but also strategic and tactical planning processes coming together properly. We've done that by bringing the power of the Blueyond Data Cloud on the platform, together with enhancements in machine learning to build out a truly integrated business planning platform that, su that supports both manufacturers and retailers. It's no longer enough for a retailer to just think about the online store or their physical store. They're now all selling through multiple marketplaces that are available to them. Similarly, as brand owners try to get closer and closer to the end consumer, they have figured out ways to get the products in a meaningful way to the end consumer without necessarily having to go through the kind of friction they might otherwise have experienced in the various channels. And they're all converging in a very meaningful way for a, a shopper or a consumer. But what that means is that the complexity on the supply chain has just gone up multifold. Businesses now need a single view of inventory, no matter where it is in the supply chain, be it at rest or in motion. And they need to be able to make sure that not only are they taking care of the forward motion or the fulfillment of the solution, but they're also able to take care of how the returns are happening. There are entire industries like in apparel where almost 30, 40% of the product gets returned a month or two after the hottest selling seasons that they, that they have in their businesses. So how do you enhance the orchestration of both the forward and the reverse logistics such that the waste is minimized is a very important consideration. Similarly, if you really want to have the ability from a business perspective to understand what's happening in all your different channels, having that workbench that allows you to bring all of that data together, your inventory, your fulfillment, and to be able to dissect it, to truly understand what has happened and where perhaps you can now iterate to get to that better answer, either through a sourcing change in strategy or through a fulfillment policy that you might now do differently is absolutely critical. And we have brought a lot of these capabilities to bear with our new 24.4 release. I think the first thing to recognize is Blueyonder has been delivering meaningful outcomes for our customers using machine learning for over a decade now. Where we are today is that we're delivering almost 20 billion plus ML driven decisions each and every day. And oh, by the way, that number has doubled even just over from a period of over the last three months. As we look ahead, what we are doing is something that's super exciting. When it comes to predictive machine learning, all of the capabilities that are so essential to make good decisions no longer have to be done in a batch mode. They are now real-time decisions using the power of machine learning that we have brought to bear. Not only that, we are allowing our customers to mix and match their own data science skills and capabilities together with industry-specific models, and generic models that Beyonder has built out so that the customer can get the best of all there is to offer. Now you add all of these capabilities together with data and content that Beyonder has brought together on the data cloud. And all of a sudden you can unlock capabilities 
not just for predictive machine learning, but actually for generative AI, which the Blionder Orchestrator does so well, so that the end user experience is enhanced, not just in making better decisions, but also the way those decisions are understood and consumed by the end user for planning and execution. It's a very important thing to realize that planning decisions are only so good as the actual execution that follows as a consequence. And also, you're only as good as the real constraints that are there in your logistics and warehouse systems that can be modeled on the planning side. So using the common Blionder data model, what we've been able to do first and foremost is make sure that that barrier between planning and ex execution has collapsed. More importantly, what we've done is we've made sure that the resilience of our execution capabilities, both on the logistics side, but also on the warehouse side, have been enhanced a notch or two. And what we mean by that is we recognize that the warehouse coming down for just a few minutes or even just slowing leads to hundreds of thousands of dollars of expense for our customers. And so we have now put in place capabilities on the warehouse side that is now available to our customers that allows our customers to put in the new patches or the new capabilities that have been delivered or the new enhancements that they want to adopt without ever having to bring their systems down. Same thing on the logistics side, we've enhanced and added newer capabilities, both to scale our solutions, which have grown almost 4X just over the span of the last 12 months and to support all of that scale with the right element of service and disaster recovery that's necessary, we put in place capabilities that allows us to do all of that. Not only are we done, are we done putting in those capabilities for enhanced scale and security and performance, but we've also added newer capabilities so that we can add benefit to the customer's bottom line by improving the freight billing and payment accuracy elements that are so essential when it comes to both warehouse and logistics operations. So I would, I would say in some sense, the business benefit, the immediate business benefit that customers can get by adopting a number of these capabilities on the logistics and the warehouse side in many ways are mm -hmm. just, as, just as exciting, if not more so, than what we just talked on the planning, on the planning side of the house. You know, there's a there's an important uh, <laughs> an important truth to any software that is made available to a business user. If it's not used, it's not going to deliver the business benefit. And so, what we've done is invested over the last nine to twelve months, put in a significant effort to up the game when it comes to the user experience. And we introduced some of these in the July, in the June July timeframe with our with our twenty four point two release. But with 24.4, we've taken up a whole new notch. And what I mean by that is from a user standpoint, we're allowing the end user to move through the quantum of information that they now have available at their fingertips in a much more efficient way. And if they do want to get into the details and see all of that data, we're, we put in new modes of, of viewing dense information that does not call for our end users to begin to get magnifying glasses out there. So we've really put in the hard work of making sure that the font is just right, that the alignment is just right. And so importantly, that from a user's perspective, there isn't that additional strain that's put on them when they have to manage and use all of that information. I think what's also important is that a user experience is not just the UI. It is the entirety of the experience. How do I access help? How do I get direction when I'm stuck at a particular point? How, do, how does this information that's perhaps buried in various reports get surfaced to me using a whole host of new innovations on the user experience side, but also what large language models have to offer? We've created new and innovative ways for our end users to interact with all of the information that's available on the Blionder platform and in the planning and the execution solutions. In, in many ways, what uh, I have come to realize is this is the sixth in the series of quarterly synchronized releases that Blionder has done across planning and execution on the Blionder platform. And like with anything else, when you do, you know, it's like, a, like an exercise habit, if you will, you do it often enough, you get really good at it and you're able to run faster and further. 
The same thing has happened with this latest launch that we've done with 24.4. We've, we've comprehensively delivered a whole host of new capabilities in a manner where the customer experience is front and center. The business outcome is at the heart of what we are trying to deliver. And the ultimate supply chain uh, objective of being able to deal with the uncertainty that exists in the, in the world of supply chain by bringing to life near real time event driven capabilities for planning and execution is what this this release has brought to bear and i i would urge all of our customers and prospects to engage with blayonder to understand more of what this release has to offer so that they can for themselves judge and leverage the capabilities that the release has launched